Hi, my name is Jonas. I'm an avid climber, outdoor enthusiast, and at times I've been known to dabble at some extreme sports. For the past three summers, I've been working as a hiking guide in the Hornstrandir Nature Reserve in northwestern Iceland. This summer, I bought a car, converted it into a micro camper, and I'm taking it with me on my adventures. This is my summer in Iceland. Let me close the window. Hey guys, I thought I'd give you guys a little bit of an introduction to myself and what this show is going to be about uh, following my journey this summer in Iceland. So my name is Jonas, as you, you probably know. I'm from Helsinki, Finland. The past three summers I've been working in Iceland as a hiking guide uh, with this company called Borea Adventures. And it all kind of started when I was studying in Isafjordur, which is a small town in the northwestern Iceland. Uh, I studied coastal and marine management. So it's a natural resource management degree. And while I was working there, I, I um, got to know the owner of this company, Runnar. After my master's thesis work in Mozambique, I, I returned to Iceland for my graduation and met up with Runnar again. And he offered me a one month kind of work deal being the man of the house in, in Kviar, which is which is a place I'm going to show you guys later in this series. It's, it's in the nature reserve, a beautiful place. And I spent a month there and by the end of the month I, was, I did a couple of one day tours with clients and the feedback was really good, apparently. And Runar asked me to return. And I went back second summer doing more guiding, more tours, bigger, longer tours. And then last summer I was doing <laughs> a lot of tours. And this summer again I'm going back. So it's my fourth summer in a row. We're working in this nature reserve and it's very, very special place. And it's it's been so much fun the past three years that I thought I need to I need to show people what it's like in Iceland and in this nature reserve and what, what kind of what what's the work of a hiking guide in Iceland and kinda of wanna share this part of my year with you guys. And then when I decided to build a van, build this camper van micro van i guess you could call it i thought that's an even better thing because that's a thing now everybody likes to watch these van life people so i thought i'd share with you like my journey this summer from helsinki to isafjordur with my van everything that happens in between and also about the summer when i go hiking in the nature reserve and take people out there and tell them about the nature and foxes and birds and everything i want to i want you guys to join me on this on this travel and hopefully this show can inspire some of you to, you know, go out there yourself and uh, and uh, do what you've always dreamt about. Okay, let's get on with the show. Renault Kangoo. Some sliding doors on both sides, very handy. The floor, it's got a, a two centimeter thin foam insulation and then plywood on top. And uh, I just coated it with this cool kind of oil to give it some really nice dark coloring look. Got my bicycle with me on a rack and my living room. There we go. As you can see, I have like a, a couch during the day. Underneath, I've got uh, two boxes of clothing. So here's like socks and underwear and stuff like that. And underneath here, I have all like my shirts and trousers and jackets and stuff like that. They're all really snugly fit underneath. This is a bed frame that I built. And it's bolted directly to the chassis, so it won't go anywhere, it doesn't move. It's very solid. Uh, a couple of mattresses that were cut into shape in Finland. And then my good friend Lottis 
stitched or sewed together these um, covers for the mattresses. They look super nice. They're kind of like a little piece of the interior now. What's really cool about this bed is that during the day there's like a lot of space if I want to sit down and do stuff. And in the evenings I can just open these two Velcro straps here and I can pull it apart to extend it. And that's why I have two of these mattresses so that one of them they fit next to each other. And all of a sudden I have a lot more space in here to lie down. I've got this nice pillow from Indonesia. Here's my cupboard. On the side here I've got 10 liters of water. There's a, there's a knife. Here's the cupboard. It's also bolted directly to the wall. So it's not moving anywhere. Um, it's got sliding doors. Uh, I have to give a shout out to my friend Miki. Miki is a really good friend of mine. He's, uh, he's currently studying to be a, a wood artisan. So he took some time off his studies to create these sliding doors and this whole mechanism, which is really sweet. So there's two sets of doors. And there's these rails up top and down bottom. Super nice woodwork, finished birch, very strong wood. Yeah, sliding doors, both sides, nice hole. What do we have in here? A lot of uh, food, food in the bottom and cooking equipment on top. And I have this mat underneath that stops things from sliding around when I'm driving. Uh, so that's pretty sweet. Oat milk, oh yeah, oatly, some uh, Finnish dairy cream, very good stuff. The top is also Finnish birch, Lima Po Levu. Um, very cool, it's, I'm super happy with this. I can also use it as a, you know, for a laptop. Nice. Then down to the side, I, I recycled one of my pants my jeans, so you can store all kinds of things. I've got like cutlery in here. I've got my washing up liquid uh, to wash my dishes. I've got my climbing shoes with me, of course. Oh yeah, there's this overhead compartments on both sides. Very handy, they were with the car. There's all kinds of stuff. There's some workout equipment. Uh, there's some spices and uh, other stuff like that. Most of my tool stuff is here. Um, most important thing, of course, duct tape. This is called duct tape in English. In Finnish, we have an even better name for it. We call it Jesus tape, which means Jesus tape, basically because you can fix anything with this stuff. And finally, I have a first aid, first aid kit here. Uh, there's all kinds of uh, first aid stuff and pills and allergy medication. And there's ample space for me to hang out during the day. Maybe read a book, watch some YouTube, hang out. And when I need to in the evenings, I can extend this to the full size bed and sleep in that. I've also made curtains for some privacy. I bought this, this curtain wire from Klaas Olsson in Finland and I borrowed my friend's sewing machine. And I made these curtains, they go all around. Gives me some privacy at night, so people don't come checking checking me out. In the back, also got curtains on both sides, very nice. And uh, I have a, a long wire here, because I have this green material that I put in front here to close the, kind of the back away from the front. When I wanna sleep, this is pretty cool. I have this, this massive box here that also Mickey made for me and it basically houses all my sleeping equipment. So there's this really cool knitted kind of blanket from Iceland, got my sheets and pillows and my uh, sleeping bag is in the bottom and everything kind of stores really neatly in there. And uh, during the night when I take stuff out, I can just put my clothes in there so they're not in the way. Here's another kind of storage basket. Uh, all kinds of random stuff in there, like climbing harnesses and knitting stuff and toilet paper and so forth. I could show you how my extended bed works, so... And uh, you can see my benches are pushed forward, 
So this is when I'm basically about to go to sleep. I will take this piece of plywood, just place it on top here. Oh well, make sure there's no random things underneath. Place that there. Get this extension piece, place it in there. And I would have the, the main frame extended. And then I have a full length bed that I can easily easily fit in. Hey, now I have like kind of a corner couch. Ha, never thought about that. That's pretty cool. I've got binoculars on the side. Traveling with my guitar, so it's in the front seat. I also have a, it's like a, a solar panel, solar charger for small electronics. So in Iceland I can, I can kind of off-grid charge things like my phone and GoPro and stuff straight through that. So that's my van. What do you guys think? Like it? All right. Woohoo. How's it going, peeps? Uh, I'm aboard the MS Amorella. Uh, we just uh, left Turku, Finland. Journey has begun. Heading towards uh, Stockholm in Sweden, where I'm gonna meet up with my cousin Patrick. I'm gonna stay the night at his place. It's actually his birthday tomorrow. That's exciting. So happy birthday, Patrick. Uh, and then I'm gonna continue on onwards tomorrow towards Gothenburg in Sweden, where I'm gonna take another ferry to Denmark. Uh, and then I'm gonna stay the night somewhere there in my car probably and then take the last ferry from Denmark to Iceland via the Faroe Islands. So it's, it's gonna be quite a journey. But here we are, beginning of the trip. Let's go. Yes! First leg of the journey. I've just arrived in Stockholm. Stockholm. This is my uh, handsome cousin, Patrick. Although I'm from Finland and he's from Sweden, we yeah. have a, a common language, English. Yeah. In Finnish, we say kippis. Skål. Skål. Cheers. Cheers. What a treat. What a treat. Come here, my cousin's place. Kind of an easy. Easy start to my journey. Mm -hmm. Korma. Salad. And your palak paneer. Palak paneer. And saving the best for last. Garlic man. In Sweden, the spoons are square. That's, that's the best, best bread I ever tasted. Mm. <laughs> Here on the paddle court with my cousin. First time playing, not going too bad. Sun's coming out. Yeah, after this, I start driving. So it's good to get a little bit of exercise before jumping in a car for six hours. Uh, I'm just feeling 100%, but it's cool. It's going well. Let's see. So I'm just leaving Stockholm now. It was great hanging out with my cousin Patrick. Uh, it was actually his birthday today, so congratulations. A bit post, but uh, congratulations anyway, Patrick. Uh, now I'm heading to Göteborg or Gothenburg, whichever you want to say. Um, it's about a five hour drive from Stockholm. I'm catching the midnight ferry to Denmark. And uh, on the, so I'll be Denmark around 3 a.m. And then I need to find a place to sleep. Could be the first night in the van, or very likely it will be the first night in the van. 
So that's the plan. I'll uh, catch back with you guys uh, when we're closer to Yotebore. Cheers. Okay, I've just arrived at the ferry station here in Göteborg. But I still have three hours until my my ferry leaves and the check-in is probably half an hour or an hour before. So I thought I'd make some dinner. It will be my first dinner in the van. So that's pretty exciting. Mmm, that's olive oil. I think today we're gonna make some couscous. Yeah. Oh shit, it's quinoa. Don't I have couscous? <laughs> quinoa is annoying to do, isn't it? Guess I'm f doing quinoa then. Okay, quinoa with some feta cheese, onion. Yes. Cool. Let's get going. <laughs> if the police drive by, they probably think I'm like making a bomb in here or something. Oh, what's that white stuff? So, what are you cooking in your car? Uh, it's just some uh, quinoa, my friend. I wanted to do couscous, but I realized I have not couscous. It's warm, but that's why I put this on top. First meal ever in my van. Looks all right. It's a mush, a lot of feta. Ooh, ooh. Time for the taste test. Mmm. Mmm. Not bad, I would say. Man, this is delicious. Good stuff. Next up, head to the ferry. Oh yeah. So this is my first batch of water. And it's actually from home. From Helsinki, Jakomäki. Nolla nolla, seiska seiska nolla. Ah, this tastes like home, hopefully. Mmm. Mm-mm-mm. As soon as they got on board, they just found a spot on like a couch and just like just all passed out. I literally slept from as I got into the ferry until the announcement came that bling blong, we're arriving in 10 minutes. So now I'm gonna head to Skagen, north of uh, Denmark. I kind of checked a spot on Google Maps that's like a parking lot next to the beach. Hopefully it's accessible, it's like 45 minutes away. Okay, I've just arrived 
at my parking spot that I checked on Google Maps. There's no one here, which is good news. It's just past 4 a.m. So I'm gonna set up my bed, go to sleep. And I'll see you guys in the morning and we're gonna go explore this place that I checked out. I think it's gonna be pretty sweet. All right, good night. It works! First night in the van. <laughs> I now have proof of concept that this this setup works. I'm so happy. I'm not cold. There's no moisture in the air. It's it's perfect. I can sleep with my full body extended and I'm not touching anything. That was my main thing. This is super nice. Time to clean up this stuff and maybe get some breakfast going. Oats and morning panadol thing and hot tea. Breakfast is served. That's really cool. They have like a beach cleanup spot. If you just find trash on the beach, you can just dump it here. I can see further out. There's like multiple of these stations littered across the beach. So they, good on you, Denmark. They really want to keep their beaches clean. I like that. Very cool. Alright, this is it. It's the last ferry ride and then I'm in Iceland, but this is the longest. Today is Saturday, the 27th. I'll be arriving to Iceland on the 30th at 9 a.m. So that's Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Two whole days on the boat and then today and then the last day is short, but well, this is it. The last leg of the journey. This will also be the, the end of this first episode. Uh, it was a little bit different. It was more of an introductory episode, right? So you got to know me, my van a little bit, a little bit about my plans and see the first few legs of the journey. I'm sorry, there's a lot of uh, sitting in the car because I had to drive a long way, but as, I, as soon as I get to Iceland, things are gonna slow down in pace and the, the driving distances are gonna be shorter and there's gonna be more focus on nature and and Iceland and doing cool stuff. This was the necessary evil is to get on that smurri line three day boat and then ah. so so thanks thanks for watching. Next episode is probably gonna be what happens on that boat and what happens in Iceland once I once I reach there. Uh, yeah thanks guys for watching. If you liked it uh, click the like button subscribe and uh, stay tuned for for the next episode of me, my van and the Arctic foxes or whatever the show might be called, <laughs> who knows. All right, take it easy, see you soon.